Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Developers and Coders Club. Today we are here to discuss the problem bracket coloring. In this question, we will be given a string s, and there is a simple term regular bracket sequence which we you all know. That if you don't know, then you can read out from here. And a bracket sequence is called beautiful if one of the following condition is satisfied. Note here that uh, we don't need to satisfy both conditions. You only need to satisfy only one condition. Uh, what are the conditions that it is a big regular bracket sequence or if the order of the characters in the sequence is reversed then that will become a regular bracket sequence like just think the string is given to us like this one then either this can be a regular bracket sequence or reverse order of this that is this this can be a regular bracket sequence if one of the condition satisfies from these two then uh, this will be a beautiful sequence so uh, for example these are the beautiful sequences like you can see that uh, this is a rps this is a rps reverse order of this will be a rps so these all are the beautiful sequence now what we need to do that we will be given a bracket sequences and we have to color it in such a way that every bracket is colored into one color for every color that is there should be at least one bracket colored into that color and for every color if you write down the sequence of brackets having that color in order they appear you will get a beautiful bracket sequence uh, what it is want to say that uh, just think that this is the uh, or given string now there can be one condition that either this is rps or reverse order of this is rps if one of this condition is satisfied then we can say that uh, if we color with the all brackets with color 1 then what will happen that here is write down uh, said that you if you write down the sequence of brackets having that color in order they appear you should get a beautiful bracket sequence and we already know that uh, this is a bracket uh, beautiful bracket sequence so if you color all in one color then that will be a rbs uh, not rbs that will be a beautiful bracket sequence so if either that is rbs or reverse order of that is rbs then we can color it only in using one color what can be another condition that just think that both of these are not rbs then uh, just think that we are coloring it with one we are coloring it with one we are coloring it with two it with two we have colored it in such a way then uh, if we write down the sequence of color 1 that will be A and D and if we write down the sequence of color 2 that will be B, C, E, F then these two should be beautiful sequences these two should be beautiful sequences either A, D can be RBS or D, A can be RBS either B, C, E, F can be RBS or F, E, C, B can be RBS so we, uh, we will be given a string as like this and we need to print the minimum color which we will be using and we also need to say that which bracket is colored by which color so now what we can do there is two condition which we can know that uh, if we want to make the rbs then we all know that opening bracket should equal to closing bracket if this is not true then obviously that will not be rbs so what we will do first of all we will calculate the count of opening brackets we will calculate the count of closing brackets if that is not equal then we will print minus one this is the first condition then secondly we what we can do that uh, str is already given to us i will make a string temp what will be that that will be reverse of str then i will check uh, i will make a function check for str or check for temp if one of this is a rbs then what i will do i will say that uh, color all brackets with the same color with one color all brackets with color one and we are using only one color here so this is the second thing what we are doing here that we are uh, coloring uh, with only one color by checking that either this is rbs or reverse order of this is rbs now the main thing we all know that uh, now we have to use more than one color because if that is colored in one color then we are already considered here 
now we all know that we have to use more than one color now uh, just think that this is our given string and length of this is 2 into n then i am partitioning it with uh, dividing it in two parts with equal length so length of this is n length of this is n okay now just think that uh, count to opening brackets in this is a count to opening brackets and count to closing bracket in this segment is b okay count to opening brackets in this is c and count to closing in this is d now what are the uh, base conditions which we should be true here we all know that a plus b should be n c plus d should be n is it true now we can say that a plus b should equal to c plus d this is the first condition then we all know that count to opening brackets sum of opening brackets should be equal to sum of closing bracket in whole string now a plus c should equal to b plus d okay now we have two equations if you solve it like uh, if you figure out the value of b from here so that will be c plus d minus a and if you put b here then a plus c will equal to c plus d minus a plus d okay cut c to c a will go in this side 2a equal to 2d from here you get that a is equal to d and if a is equal to d if a is equal to d then b also will equal to c now we know that b will be also equal to c what is a b c d opening brackets a closing brackets d these two are equal and these two are equal i hope you get the answer what we will do we will color it with color 1 color it with color 2 and this will be always true why because if you color it with color 1 then in this segment there will be there will be a opening brackets and d closing brackets and both are same so that will be rbs and if you color it with 2 then c and b these are the closing and these are the opening so reverse order of this is rbs so from here you can see that uh, we only need to add max two colors and how we are proving that this will be always true that is this one what is the basic uh, key point that uh, number of opening brackets in this side will be equal to number of closing brackets in this side number of closing brackets in this side will be equal to number of opening brackets in this side so see the code first of all i am calculating the number of opening brackets and closing brackets uh one minute these are the opening and closing brackets if both are not equal then we will print minus 1 otherwise i am calculating the um, this temp is the reverse string of uh, um, str then i am calculating the is uh, str or temp either one of these two is rbs if that is then we will mark uh, color all with one what is this function that is a simple function for checking the rbs using stack and after that what we are doing that we are coloring with two colors uh in the first segment from 0 to 1 by 2 if that is opening then i am coloring with one if that is closing then i am coloring with two and same in other side if that is closing then i am coloring with one otherwise i am coloring with two so that was the uh, simple code about this question i hope you all get it so in the next problem till the happy coding bye bye